boys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today is day three, day trace, day trois of Security Breach Week. That means we are officially a third of the way through SB Week. If you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, Security Breach Week is nine full days, each and every single day. I upload a video doing a deep, in-depth analysis of some element from the upcoming Five Nights at Freddy's game being developed by Steel Wolf Studios. Day one was about Gregory and his watch. Day two, we took a look at the mall itself. And today, we're gonna move on to some characters now, starting off with the sun animatronic, the moon animatronic, and also the service robots, because I didn't really know where to throw them into SB Week. So let's not waste any more time, let's hop right into it. But first, can you check to see if you're subscribed? I'll keep it a stack, you boys have been very supportive when it came to SB Week, and I cannot thank you guys enough. But I know that there are some narcs out there who are not subscribed to the YouTube channel who watch a lot of my videos. And like I said earlier, not only do we still have nearly a week left in SB Week, I also do FNAF news all the freaking time, so if you want to stay up to date and you want to get through realizing about security breach, please hit the subscribe button, boys, please. And the like button, too. And also, tell me in the comments down below what are your theories for the up-and-coming FNAF security breach title. And now let's talk about Moondrop, or the Moon animatronic, because let's be honest, do we really know his official name? I mean, yes, we do see him on a couple of posters that have the word Moondrop on it, but at the same time, the Moondrop candy is a candy that is in FNAF Help Wanted. And we know whether they have any lore significance or they're just doing it to throw in a couple Easter eggs. Stu will are taking food items and drinks from the game Help Wanted and importing them into Security Breach. Again, if they mean anything, I don't know. If they're just a quick, you know, nod and Easter egg to their past game, again, I'm not sure. But we do see Sodoroni featured in some of the trailers. So the moon drop posters with the moon animatronic featured on them could simply just be a nod to Help Wanted. In fact, we do see the candy itself and its slogan in one of the teaser images from Darko's charity livestream. In the West Arcade, there is a poster that says Moondrop the Sleeping Time Candy, right next to a gigantic sign promoting Chica of the Sea, which if you didn't know is also a candy from Help Wanted. So is it the name of the character, or is it just a reference to Help Wanted? I'm not sure. It seems like the majority of the fanbase thinks that his name is Moondrop, and because some people think that his name is Moondrop, people are assuming that the Sun animatronic has a name of sun, rise. Moon drop, sunrise, moon, sun, drop, rise. It makes sense. And I bring this all up simply because we just don't know if that's their official name. Again, it could just be a reference to Help Wanted. Steelworld did walk on that past game, and as we've seen from promotional images and teaser trailers, they have a lot of references to Help Wanted with, again, all the candies and the drinks. But anyways, enough about stupid names, let's move on to the characters themselves. Starting off with the Moon animatronic, just because we've seen him the most out of the two other characters that I'm gonna be talking about today. We've seen him a lot in posters, we saw him in the kitchen in the very first teaser trailer, Trailer, and he also showed up quite a bit in the official gameplay trailer. I will say, the appearances of these characters are very different from really anything we've seen previously. I think the closest we've gotten to the Moon and Sun animatronics are the puppet. They have a very jester type appearance in my opinion. Of course, still being themed around the nighttime and the moon and the daytime and the sun. And speaking of appearance, I want to quickly throw my opinion into the ring on whether or not these two characters are one and the same. Since our first really good look of the Sun animatronic in the gameplay trailer, they do take on a very, very, very close appearance. Almost as if they use the same exact model. In fact, I think that's kind of the case. If you take a look at the Sun animatronic in the Glamrock gifts section of the Pizza Plex, which also opens up a huge other can of worms, like are these characters actually Glamrock animatronics, or are they just kind of their own separate thing? Since the Sun animatronic is in the Glamrock gifts gift shop, it really does seem like they are technically Glamrock animatronics. But anyways, back to what I was saying. Anyways, back to what I was saying, it seems like the Sun animatronic is wearing what appears to be a red striped dress. And of course, that's not the outfit they're wearing in the gameplay trailer. And I've brought this up many times, but the gameplay trailer and really all the trailers we've seen so far are early stages of the game's development. So I personally think that Steel Wall just wasn't finished with the Sun animatronics model, so they reused the model for the Moon animatronic, for the Sun animatronic, and then they showed it off in the gameplay trailer. I do not think that these guys are going to be one and the same, mainly because of the dress, but also because the Sun animatronic in the gameplay trailer at least has a very moon-shaped face. Now I'm not saying that it's impossible that they're one animatronic and in the nighttime it's the Moon animatronic and then when it turns daytime 
time they appear to turn good and turn into the sun image. I'm like, I'll get to that in a little bit. I'm just saying personally, I think they're different. Anyways, it's been a little bit. Now let's talk about the nighttime and the daytime sections of the mall. It appears that the only time we ever see the moon animatronic is when the mall is either dark or it takes on a nighttime-ish atmosphere. Whether it be in a dark kitchen or a nighttime themed play place, he's always seen with red glowing eyes in the dark. But the sun animatronic is always out and happy and jumping around very cheerfully when it's daytime in the play area. Now again, like I said, during the nighttime section of the play area, they could be the Moon Man, or during the daytime, they could be the Sun Animatronic, or they could be two separate characters, and the Moon Animatronic only comes out when it's dark, and the Sun Animatronic only comes out when it's light. I don't know, but it is interesting that we see the Moon Animatronic always crawling, it seems like. I think the only time he's not crawling around on the kitchen or in the play place slide, it's when he's jumping around, again, very jester-like in nature in the play area. So I think the moon animatronic is gonna kinda be like Ballora, where he's always crawling around everywhere, crawling behind us, trying to cut us off by crawling through a slide. And then when we do encounter him, you know, he's jumping around all cheerfully in a very jester-like nature, and he's gonna ask for like a riddle or something to make us pass. I don't know, he gives me that vibe, you know? Now we don't have a lot to go off of with the sun animatronic, just because again, we haven't seen much of them. But based off of what we have seen, it seems like they're gonna be very cheerful, very upbeat, very happy, you know, bouncing around, jumping around everywhere in the daytime where they don't have those glowing red eyes. Does that mean that they're gonna be helping us? I don't know. I definitely do think that the moon animatronic is evil and he's trying to get us. But as for the sun animatronic, I don't know. You know, those bright white eyes makes me feel like they could be helping us, much like Landmark Freddy. For a summary, I think the moon animatronic is evil, and I think the sun animatronic may be good. They might not be helping us necessarily, but I also don't think they're gonna be hunting us down. Just because I feel like the nighttime section of the pizza plex, you know, where the moon animatronic is out hunting us, gives you very a on edge, you know, scary feel. Feels like you should be watching your back for eyes looking at you from the darkness, which is kind of what we see him doing, you know, creeping around the kitchen, creeping around in the slide. But when it's daytime in the pizza plex, you know, where it has this nighttime and daytime, you know, cycle in the play area, that's obviously a very inviting a very cheerful uh, atmosphere. So again, I do think that the Sun animatronic may be good. I don't think they're gonna be necessarily bad. Whether or not they're the same animatronic, I don't know. I see quite a bit of evidence for both sides, you know, them being the same character and them not being the same character, but I think it ultimately comes down to us having to wait until we see the Sun animatronic again. And if they still have the same model, then I think it's pretty safe to say that they will be one and the same. And now let's finish the video off by talking about the service robots. Kind of a strange addition, you know? Obviously this is a freaking huge pizza plex as we talked about last time, but never before have we seen robots serving people in the FNAF universe. And it's not like they just have one job in the Pizza Plex, they have at least two. We see them as waiters in El Chip's restaurant and also the baristas in the ice cream parlor. It's also kind of unclear whether or not these guys are good. From what we've seen, they appear to be good. I don't think they'll be helping us out just because I don't really see how that would play into the storyline. The only way I see these guys turning evil is if Glitch Trap like hacks into them or Vanny hacks into them and turns all of them evil. I mean, think of that. Having an army of service robots chasing you down in a gigantic pizza plex, that's gonna make for a terrifying experience. We just walk into a gigantic room and they're all lined up with glowing red eyes. I feel like that could be I feel like I can see that happening, I'll be honest. Yeah, from what we've seen, these guys just look like an addition to the game to fill in the staff role, as they do have the word staff painted on their backs. I don't think that these guys will have a very prominent role in the game, kind of like the cleaning bot and also the El Chips restaurant. I don't think they're gonna have a gigantic role. I think they're mainly there to fill up space for the staff and also just make the game and the environment feel a lot more alive, you know, a lot more movement happening so it feels full and packed instead of just a bunch of empty rooms with nothing going on. I think they're kind of just here to fill up empty space and act as, again, the staff. And that's kind of everything I wanted to talk about today. Kind of an all-around video just because we don't really have a whole lot of information on these three characters. Moon Man we've seen quite a bit. 
but at the same time, we really haven't. We've seen him in like two teaser trailers, no teasers, and we don't even know his real name. So sorry if this video was kind of all over the place. It was very difficult collecting info on these guys just because again, we don't have a lot of source material to go off of. For the next couple of days, I'm gonna keep talking about characters in the new game. The humans, the glam rocks, and also some returning characters. But that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all tomorrow.